So I'm just looking over at your paperwork here and I'm seeing that, okay, you put down that you've been experiencing headaches, numbness, some tingling in the face, as well as some light sensitivity. Are there any particular activities that you can note that trigger these symptoms to start? You're not sure, okay? Do you spend a lot of time in front of a computer or even reading? Okay. Have you been experiencing any sort of loss of balance? One side of your body being weaker than the other? Okay. And how about any nausea, vomiting, difficulty sleeping? Well, we are going to take a look at you, and for the larger part of the exam, you can actually close your eyes, but to start with, we are going to be examining your eyes with your eyes open, just to rule out any issues with the optic nerve or ocular motor nerve, as well as to rule out any kind of eye strain as a cause. And if we can rule those things out, then I'll let you close your eyes and I can actually conduct the rest of the exam with your eyes closed to help you feel more comfortable. Okay. Okay. First exam for close your eyes here. So I'm going to be shining a pen light in and out of your eyes, and I'm looking to make sure that your pupils are interacting appropriately. Okay. So keep your eyes open. Just like Basically helping me make sure that you're having healthy communication pathways between your eyes and your brain. And this with one eye covered, okay? Is it okay if I place my hand on your face? Thank you. Okay, so just like that. cover
side. You follow my light. How was that? Are you feeling discomfort? Any strain or dizziness? Headache after that? actually went on properly. Alright, so now I'm just going to be taking a look into your eyes, okay? Looking at the vessels. So keep your eyes open again. One more test where I'm going to be looking at your eyes and then it'll be okay for you to close them. Okay, so now I'm just going to be shining a light. going to have you close your eyes, okay? And what I'm going to be doing is to start is actually shining a light over your closed eyes to have you tell me which eye you can perceive the light through the closed lid, okay? So, I'm actually going to be starting off with placing my hand over both of your eyes to create a contrast. So, just like so. Close your
not placing my hand on your eyes again. Just roll it on the other side. closed, okay? Just gonna take a quick note really quickly. go any further with nerve testing, I'm going to be feeling around your head, looking inside of your ears, just looking if there are any sort of signs of swelling, injuries, abnormalities, any fluid in the ear that could be contributing to a sensation of pressure, all right? And if at any point something feels uncomfortable or painful, I want you to let me know right away, okay? Okay. So, starting with your scalp. some information if there is any kind of infection in the scalp. Okay. 
sort of your ailment even if it's superficial again throw off the body's equilibrium and also could contribute to sensation of pressure inside of your ears, okay? Oh, I can. Just taking a quick note. Okay. So then, we're going to begin with some actual nerve testing, okay? I'm going to start with the vagus nerve and I'm going to be testing that guy by just taking your pulse so we're going to do it on either side I'm going to be feeling a carotid pulse in your neck so you're going to feel my fingers pressing and I'm just trying to find it first
try jumping on that, which is basically a nerve that detects sensation. So I'm going to be using a few different instruments to determine whether or not, first of all, you're able to detect where on your face I'm touching you, as well as whether the sensation is dull or sharp. Okay? So to begin with, I'm going to be using a cotton ball. So I'm gonna feel just a soft sensation on the face and I want you to continue to keep your eyes closed for me. Okay. So where did you feel that? We're going to be doing it with a little bit of a contrast. So we will feel a little bit of a sharp poke. Should not be sharp enough to hurt though, okay? If it does, I want you to let me know. And it's going to be a little bit on the prickly side. But I'm going to be using a pinwheel that has little spikes. And I can use it on my finger quite comfortably if you want to look for a second. I don't want to do anything that is too unexpected to make you feel very uncomfortable. So if you're looking, just very gently rolling it on my hand and it doesn't hurt. Just a little bit maybe irritating but not enough to cause discomfort. So, 
close your eyes. I want you to tell me where you feel my pinwheel orient and which side. So, to start. Like you have good tactile sensory awareness on your face. You were able to feel all of my instruments and determine where they were. well as your vestibular. So your auditory nerve is in charge of your hearing. So I'm going to be using a tuning fork. sound and creates a vibration. Okay. And what I want you to do is tell me what side you're able to hear the vibration and best. The ringing, actually. So, this isn't painful, but you might feel a little bit of cold from the ball of the tuning fork, okay? So we're going to start with your
now for the vestibular testing, so I'm going to be turning your head and I want you to let me know I want you to let me know which direction you perceive me turning your head, okay? With your eyes closed, you're gonna feel me placing my hands on either side Now I'm going to be dizziness after that. that we're going to test, okay? So, I'm going to do your olfactory nerve first, which is in charge of your sense of smell. Thank you. 
first one. What do you smell? Okay, that's good. And the next one. What do you smell? Very good. Again, what do you smell? Okay. Again. Do test of the glasses, glasses for engineers. Okay, which is putting apart in your sense of taste. So I'm going to tap your tongue with two applicators. I want you to tell me which one has a taste to it and which one doesn't. It's not bitter or anything, it's just like minty, okay? can just open your mouth for me. Good. So. Okay. Good. Again. Mm -hmm.
you waste it. And one more part with the glossopharyngeal nerve is I'm going to be placing my hands on your throat, okay? Just like so. so I want you to swallow for me, alright? One more time, swallow. Good. All right. Okay. So then two more tests. This one is going to be testing your spinal accessory nerve. So, I'm going to do something called an extinction test. Basically, I'm going to be squeezing both of your shoulders and then both of your arms. And I want you to tell me when you feel my hand release, as well as which side, okay? So, feel me squeezing. It shouldn't be painful, right? Answered all of those correctly. Alright. So, my last test is going to be to try and locate the numbness in your face if we're able to recreate it at this time. So, to start with, I'm going to do a double pinwheel, okay? Similar to the one that I used before. And I want you to tell me if you can feel it equally in all portions of your face. Or if there's one particular area that it's weaker. Alright? So, I'm gonna start.
Doing it one more time, only like this time I'm going to be tapping your skin in different areas with my fingers, okay? Seems like you are currently experiencing sensation equally in all parts of your face and not noting any kind of difference between the left and the right or the front or the back. That's not to dismiss what you're experiencing. I'm just not able to recreate it on exam. So what I think we're going to do is a few things as our next our next step. First one is I'm going to be ordering a CT scan of your head, your brain, to see if there's anything that can be interpreted. And then I'm also going to be referring you to a cardiologist to, first of all, get you set up with a cardiac monitor so that way we're able to read if there are any particular changes and at what time they occur as well as to evaluate any issues that could be occurring in your blood pressure which can sometimes contribute to a twitching, numb, tingling sensation in the face. Alright? So we're going to take this one step at a time to see if we can't uncover the cause of these symptoms. Do you have any questions for me? You write these orders up, okay? And if you'd like to open your eyes, you are free to do so, but no pressure. I can take your time.
Okay. So that is all written up for now. And I will get this to my front desk so they can fax it to the appropriate places. I'm going to be stepping out. If you would like to take some time and just rest and relax in here before you get up, that is totally fine. We don't need this room for about 30 more minutes or so, so you can take your time with getting ready. Once again, do you have any questions for me before I step out? Radiology can usually get patients in within the next couple of days. It doesn't usually have that long of a wait. It does depend on the current patient low, but on average it takes about two to three days to get an appointment. In terms of a cardiologist, I'm not entirely sure, but someone at the front desk will be able to answer that for you and help you out, okay? Okay. Well, it was really nice to see you. And again, feel free to take all of the time you need.